All right, in 2005, those of you that are at our conference in 2005, something pretty extraordinary happened. Who here has heard of Sarah Blakely? Sarah Blakely, raise your hand. Okay, who here has heard of Spanx? Spanx, okay. Sarah Blakely is the CEO of Spanx. And in 2005, she came to the conference, we set up a booth for her, and she gave a talk that just mesmerized everyone and sold out of Spanx four times at the conference. Now, I don't know what you've seen happen since 2005 to now, but Spanx is everywhere, and women from the conference went into markets all over the place saying they wanted Spanx, they talked about it. She called us and said it was unbelievable in eWomen Network, the impact that eWomen Network had on her business. We have another Sarah Blakely type individual that Sandra and I are really excited about. And she is doing something that's pretty extraordinary. And we asked her to come to the conference. Met her, the, the, I'll use the word the fight or the challenge that she's had in the fashion industry. Uh, her name is Cricket Lee. Before I bring her out here, I want you to, I want, I want you to see what she's doing. She, this woman single-handedly is trying to revolutionize the fit side of fashion. And the battles of what she's gone through, she's gotten millions and millions of dollars with the press. She's gotten over $5 million in investment from people who really believe in her and to, to help her and get behind her. But, I mean, I'm talking about Wall Street Journal, Fox News. I mean, this woman has just you know, been getting the press, getting the press, but she has not been able to get the fitness, or I should say the, the, the fashion industry to embrace the incredible work and vision she has to help women. And the reason behind that is pretty interesting. Let's, um, let's take a look at the video. From NBC News, this is Today. This morning on today's woman, what size do you wear? Any woman who's ever bought a piece of clothing knows the ugly truth. A trip to the dressing room can be painful when almost every designer on the planet sizes their clothes differently. Now as NBC's Janet Shamlian found out, one woman is trying to change all that. No, because I'm wallowing in self-pity. What woman hasn't been humbled in the dressing room? I don't know what to expect me to do. There's nothing in this whole closet that'll fit a size six, I can guarantee you. She's a lady. In the world of women's clothing, size is fluid. One designer's two is another's ten. So maddening, 55% of women say they refuse to try on clothing in stores. The only solution for, for the marketplace for women is to have one standardized fit across all brands and for all retailers to adopt it. That's the dream of Cricket Lee and a sizing system called FitLogic. The way it works is it's like a decimal system. So you take your size and then you add your shape. Shape one is like Reese Witherspoon, Nicole Kidman, or Kathy Bates. Their figures are more straight. Shape two is curvy. Think Marilyn Monroe or Catherine Zeta-Jones and Sophia Loren. They're more of an hourglass. And shape three looks like J-Lo, Beyonce, or Jessica Alba. They're bulkier on bottom. And so what you do is you measure about, uh, eight, sensor. about eight inches down. <laughs> Shape determined by measurements at the hip, waist, and thigh. Lee says with a number for size and a second for body type, a better fit is guaranteed. I'm a 12.2. I'm a 2.1. I'm an 18.3. So I'm back from the dressing room, and you can call me a believer. I tried on two pair of black pants. The first one, a size 2, Shape two. I thought they were fine. I would have bought them. But then I tried on a size two shape one. And the difference was night and day. It's like they were made for me. A much better fit. And this is the pair I'm going home with. We looked a lot different 50 years ago. And when fit was standardized back in the 40s, you know, it was standardized on a standard hourglass shape. And that's what they use as this common fit model today. But will designers buy in, creating three different fits for each size? The brand Alex New York is giving it a try. What's the reaction been so far? It's been mixed. Most people love the concept of it, but are a little concerned as to how to execute it at the store. It is a tall order, as one woman works to change a decades-old system, proving one size doesn't fit all. For today, Janet Shamley and NBC News, New York. Meet the fit champion, Cricket Lee. <laughs> I asked Cricket.
cricket. When, when she came in and we learned about her and people started calling us about cricket and she came into the office and she shared with us her story. And I'm telling you, um, it, it just so inspired us. I mean, just would you tell them, Cricket, what it's been like for you trying to make this happen? Well, can I just first say that this organization is amazing. I have never in my life seen something like, I mean, every one of you are bright, you're beautiful, you're wonderful. I've connected with so many beautiful women. And since I met you three months ago, Kim, my whole life has changed. It's like Jack Nicholson said, I feel like my life just got made. And I'm so excited to be here with you guys here today. I can't tell you. You know, thank you for the, nat for the last nine years. I've been working to try to standardize fit in the fashion industry. And I've met with many roadblocks, and I will say, that the main roadblock really, I think, was probably that I did not fit the pictures of the fashion industry. So as a fashionista, I mean, I, it was in New York, it took me that to really get FitLogic tested and get done what needed to be done, but I didn't fit their pictures, and so I didn't have credibility with them as somebody who could tell them what to do. But every time women touched FitLogic, tried fit logic, it worked for them. And so I knew that if I could ever get to women, it would make a, a huge difference. And what really broke the camel's back, the straw that broke the camel's back was in March. I had hired a CEO in New York. He was really a top guy. And he was excited because we had gotten media financing for an infomercial, which I'm hoping to do by the end of the year or whatever. But he, he said to me, he called me in March, on March 10th, he said, he said, Cricket, I quit. I'm done. He said, Ralph and Donna are never going to have the same fit. You are never going to have your dream. And at that very moment, I said, watch me. I'm going to do this. You know, that's what, when she came in the office, and remember Cricket, and I said to you, Cricket, you are the brand. It needs to be you. The very thing that she was walking away from, and I mean, I think we've all been there. We want to give our power to someone else. We want to say, will you go out and represent me? Will you go out and sell me? Will you go out and meet the customer for me? Because, again, that whole image... You know, that you shared about how, how, how you were perceived. She's, she is the brand. So, Cricket, I just want to tell you, hey, Sandra, I think you've got on her first pair of pants. These, these are my brand, Cricket Lee. I'm the fashion brand now. And Sandra's got on Cricket Lee with Fit Logic. This, this is, she's a shape one. And so, that's it. Let me just say, first of all, I just want to say, I see you, okay? I see you. And I remember having this same conversation with Sarah Blakely not too long ago, trying to enter into a multi-billion dollar lingerie industry and all of the roadblocks and setbacks that she had. And you remind me of that same perseverance and that same drive and that same, I'm going with it anyway. And so it's my pleasure, really. I mean, I feel like I am wearing pajamas. I mean, the, the, the fabric is fabulous. It's wonderful. It's smooth. It's what do you think it's flattering? You know, it's flattering. And it's, it's, it's really special what you're doing, and I am totally behind you because the designers are all about one place I go and I'm one size, and the next place I go I'm five size difference. You know, it's just bizarre. And what you're doing is creating something that I can like mail order and have drop shipped, right? And have at my door and know that it fits me in every way. And I congratulate you for taking this on. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we asked Cricket. She says, I said, Cricket, would you set up a booth? And let women, can they order from you? And she, so she worked her little tail off, and she brought her whole team, and she came here to help people and measure. And so I'm, I'm saying to you, just, I think, get ready. I think you're going to have a lot of people who are going to want your, your pants. But don't you just love her, and we just want to help her. And go by her booth and get you originally fitted by Cricket Lee herself, because this woman is going to be huge. She's going to be huge. Get her to sign your receipt. She's going to be big. <laughs>